I can still see Verity kneeling in front of that log burner. Ripped t-shirt and long red hair. Yeah, we, we, um, we used to mark our heights here. Verity used to add another centimeter to mine. Why have you brought me here? We'd come here with my mum and dad, paddling the stream and running around barefoot. It's so isolated, it would just be the four of us. They're gone now. Probably for the best. Eric, we, we, we could still make Verity's funeral, we should be there. Sorry, where is it you think I'm going? Well, actually, I'm going to the wake. I have a feeling it'll be more eventful. Is there anything else we can do before we head off? Thanks for helping set up. Eric was supposed to do all this. Hey, what are deputies for? And mates. See you at the church. Hey, maybe we just hold off the music until after the funeral? No. My sister was all about parties. The bigger and brighter, the better. Yeah. Hey, has Maxine been in touch? I thought she might have changed her mind about coming. Oh, yeah, so did I, but... I think Verity's death's just hit her hard. Well, Eric still might come, might me. No, it's up to him. Whoever he's gone, he's taken the caravan with him. Hey, come on, guys, this is what Verity would have wanted. Everyone stood around looking miserable. No. She'd have said, turn up the music, crack open the champagne, and talk about how fabulous I am. Which she was. Why do you need that? You can't possibly want to kill everybody that there is a lot! That must be your favourite word, can't! Can't look, can't touch, can't comment. What can we do? You know I despise girls like you. You act so superior, but when you get up close, it's all... It's all fake. Fake tan, fake teeth, fake hair. And inside, inside, you're vacuous, you're a void. So I'm going to go to Verity's wake and finish off the rest of your lot. And you're going to wait here and... Well, wait for nature to take its course. I looked it up, it takes about ten days. You spend too much time online. That's what's warped your tiny little brain. Yes, well, I'll be long gone and you'll still be suffering. <laughs> Poor Maxine. But you've never even been alone. Yes, I have. No, 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 no. Not like me. See, I've been alone my whole life. You had Verity! No, I had nothing and no one! She was too busy with her mates. With boys. I'm really sorry that you're not going to be at the dog. <sighs> but it's fine. I have got for you the next best thing. <clears throat> See? You'll be able to watch the whole thing. Hey. Maxine. Smile. Okay. Uh, uh. Ah. Good.
are so sly. <laughs> One Stacy down. Many, many more to go. Set your watches, Peters. The countdown to annihilation starts now. is inside. I'm not going without taking a few of those morally corrupt femoids with me. This will be my last video. But you'll be hearing about me for a long time to come. I'm going to get justice for all of us whose lives they've destroyed. I will right the wrongs that have been done to us. And nobody's going to stop me. The world has ignored our suffering for too long. Now I'm gonna make them listen to men like me. Justice will prevail. Target identified. This was beautiful. You really did a pride. Hey, that organist was a bit of a live wire, though. Never heard Pink Floyd played like that. Oh, Bob Marley. <laughs> yeah, well, Verity would have approved. Wish I'd known I had such little time. At least it's only months. Some things take a while to work out. I knew Verity was the one. Should have fought harder. You just get the drinks going. We're just gonna move upstairs for a minute. Three, two, To make one one more call. Oh, please pick up, please pick up, please pick up. Okay. 
Okay, I present to you the Verity. This one's not alcoholic. Oh, it certainly packs a punch. I'm sorry, but could you just go a little bit faster? Please. Never change your pants again, I knew that. <laughs> I, listen, I am not going anywhere. Nip to Lou, but can I get a pie and a white wine when you're ready, please? I'll have to change the barrel. <sighs> right, I'm cold, Mary. Oh, no, don't. Oh, Tony, he's your brother, okay? And no matter what he's done or not done, now's the time when you need each other. Someone names a cocktail after me. Did you say if you die? Thick and strip. We need to get everyone out now. Why? Today is about all women. Oh, you lie. Cheating. Promiscuous bitches. Tony! Oh, my Rick. Please. Oh. What have you done? Help! Please! Please, someone help us! Someone call an ambulance! Please, it's not my wife! Help! Please! Please, someone help me! Look, there's no need to panic, but we need to get out of the pub now. The door's locked. Take an hour. Uh, okay. Hey. Hey. Just focus on me, all right? <laughs> Why would you? Why would I? Stop! Stop! Please stop! It's Eric! It's Eric! He's got a crossbow! Thanks. Are you okay? Are you okay? She needs medical assistance. Can you get some here? Can you talk to me, mate? Help! 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 Guys, let's try the back door. Why? You're going somewhere. Good. Because we're going to have a lock in. Diane, you have to stay awake, okay? Hi, yeah. hey, Diane. Diane, Diane. Come on. Come on, the evidence is going to be here any minute, okay? And you're going to be fine. Actually, I would have loved to be here, but um, she's been otherwise detained. What have you done with her? Given her time to repent. She was right about you. 
She knew you were evil. You believed that, and you still can catch me. I was the spiker, and right under your nose. Is that why you killed Verity? Because she found out? I didn't kill my sister. Eric? Why are you doing this? This is your sister's wake. It doesn't make any sense. Look on, tell me more, Chad. What are you talking about? Oh, he's right. She would have been disgusted. Disgusted? Do you know what? I'm feeling a bit claustrophobic. Can we open a window or something? You know, Maxine was disgusting, Diane. Yeah, disgusting. You! First who I've dealt with. What does that mean? Now it's time to uh, to go for the hat trick. That's what you alpha say, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Sorry, mate. You're not worth an hour. way inside before he hurts someone. He's already attacked me and I know what he's capable of. One confirmed casualty in the flat and now a second victim downstairs. He's chained all of the doors except one which is locked from the inside. Suspect has locked himself inside with the hostages. No movement. Oh, Max, in your head, what happened? What the hell's going on here? It's Eric. He's taken everyone hostage. Lizzie and Serena are inside. What? She can't save you now. now I'm afraid the forecast for this afternoon is zero with no chance of survival. Eric, this is Detective Inspector Cohen. You can call me Naomi. I know you're angry about a lot of things, but maybe I can help. Look, the police will have this place surrounded. An armed response will be here any minute, and once they get here, there'll be no way out. <laughs> There's only one way out of here. And we're all going together. Help! Eric shot her! Just keep the pressure on. She needs the paramedics. You can't get through. Eric's locked us all in. What? Why is this happening? He's lost it, Dad. He wants to kill everyone. Diane? Diane? No. No, no, I'm losing her. Diane, please. <laughs> Diane, Diane, it's too good. Diane, wake up. Diane, wake up, please. Oh, Maxine. Oh. Yeah. Have you seen a paramedic? Dad? Dad? Wait, where's the paramedic? Dad! I'm fine, OK? I'm fine. Oh, Soon, Lizzie. Yeah, they're still inside, Dan. Well, why is no one doing anything? Dad, 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 please, come on, please. Sam, your sisters are in there! You can't be here, it's not safe! Come on! I guess we should get this party started, hmm? So, who wants to go first? Turn it off! I'm trying to get my Oh. 
you come. Now. No, I'll do it. No, shut up. If you do anything stupid, you won't see her again. Happen. You all did. But you, you act like you're so superior. This pretty young thing out for a good time. But you're just a tease, like everyone else. Don't talk to her like that. I'm sorry, I forgot you all about the feminist cause. Until you get a boyfriend, that is. Like her, the political activist who sits and draws over Bo. You know, I've seen you. And it's embarrassing. You act like she's the superficial one, but you're exactly the same. It's all about muscles and nice teeth. And it doesn't matter that there's nothing going on upstairs. It makes me sick how you lust over these chads. Even my sister couldn't keep her legs shut from me. Do you want to say that again? Hey, he's just trying to get a reaction. But then nothing compares to Cindy. I mean, you are really gagging for it. Who wears something like that to a funeral? Is that why you're doing this? Because you don't like what she's wearing? All I ever wanted was to be normal. I wanted to find a wife and, and have a family, but I wasn't allowed. Because you women, you all got greedy. We gave you too much power. So now, it doesn't matter if you're a nice guy like me. Oh, boo hoo! Cindy! Listen, Eric, I am really sorry that you can't get a girlfriend. Cindy, stop. He's an incel. What's that mean? It means someone you deem unworthy of sex, all right? Well, maybe you'll have better luck getting a girl if you dealt with your anger issues. She's dead. Diane's dead. No. Now, will you stop provoking him? I did you a favour. She, she didn't care about you. She liked the pub and she liked the flat. She was my wife who slept with our dad. Tony, she was a parasite. She's like all femboys. They use up one man and then move on to the next. Femboys? Why can't you see that they're the ones turning us against each other? I love that. I know. Look, Eric, if you ever cared for me or Verity, you'll let everyone here go. Why <laughs> oh, won't anyone leave me alone? Eric, it's D.I. Cohen again. Can we talk? Oh, no, the time for talking's done. Now it's time to listen. I know, you're just grieving for your sister. Oh, no, 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 no. The armed police are going to be here any second. I can hold them off, but you're going to need to work with me, Eric. I need you to let the people go. It, Lizzie and Serena are the youngest. Shh! You don't get it, do you? Do you? Any of you? Kill the men and save the women. Kill the men, save the women. You lot are always the victims, but what about us? So let us guys leave, then. It's the women you're mad at. Might get more attention for your cause. Yeah. I mean, us lads need to stick together, right? What? No. No, I'm not leaving without the others. You'll go. I swear. I will shoot her.
Negotiations are not for the faint-hearted. I did a fair bit myself in the force. Hostages emerging. Help! Help! Please! Please, somebody help me! She needs help! Still be in there. We needed to get Diana out. I just don't understand. She's not dead. We had to say that so Eric could let her leave. She needed the paramedics. Serena! Izzy! Serena! Izzy! Maxi! No! No! I think I told him. I told him everything was going to be all right, didn't I? I would have been the ultimate gentleman. <laughs> but I was kicked to the curb. I was like a cockroach scuttling around in the dark. Despised and alone. Well, who's the supreme alpha now? Eric? You don't need to do this. You're a good person. You could have killed me before, but you didn't. I wanted you to suffer. Or maybe deep down, you wanted me to escape because this isn't who you really are. Well, and this is, hmm? Sweet, innocent Eric. The cute, nice kid. Ready to be trapped with all over. Your sister used to tell me about when you were little. Her gorgeous baby brother. Verity didn't know me. Verity loved you. And she believed that you were good. <laughs> no! No, Verity was heartless like the rest of you. <laughs> and now she's dead. All right, she's dead. And I'm alone. Again. <laughs> I have nothing. All my life, I dreamt of being with beautiful women and having those things that other men have. <laughs> but you all denied me. You made me suffer. Well, now it's my turn. No! Don't. Yo, I am sick of being afraid. I have been attacked, abused. Obviously, you're blaming the men again. No! Because unlike you, I don't loop everybody together. Most men don't think that we owe them sex. If you're not going to put out, why are you dressing like that? Because she's hot. Oh, says the slag. Will you leave it? Do you think that women exist to give you pleasure? Then why do you exist, Eric? You stay back or I will shoot you. Then you're gonna have to shoot me too. And me. You'll have to take us all down. I'm guessing it's gonna take you a while to reload that thing. <laughs> I'm serious, you stay back or I'll shoot you. You can't control us, Eric. Because even if you did kill us, 
we have family and friends and we'll live on. <laughs> Unlike you. You will be a tiny little footnote in the local paper, another angry young man. Stop it. Who blames everyone else for his problems but himself. Verity, she'll be remembered because she was loved. But you, if... If you're remembered, it will be for being a coward! Shut up! Do you see me? Try to see another way. Do you see me? We weren't born angry. You made us this way. You showed us something beautiful and then denied us. I was one of the forgotten ones. One sat alone in the school hall with my meal tray. The one never invited to the party. You made me invisible. But you see me now.